here you're so excited to get, to get some tractor therapy that you just hook on an implement and just take off. Well, I have once again done that. If you've noticed that very first part of this clip, right there, can't tell if I'm poking at it or not. I forgot to raise my stand for my disc mower and somehow I've not caught it and bent it. So I gotta raise it up. Anyway, uh, against better judgment, I'm gonna try to make another cut in the hay. My third cut this year for a change. It's not real tall. Uh, it's heavyish in spots. There's a lot of clover in the kind of middle, red and white clover mixes. Um, but uh, yeah, I was in need of some tractor therapy. No needles to say. No need to say I was in desperate need of that. And that's why you have not seen any videos for several weeks. I've not done anything to warrant. Uh, making you a worthy video to watch. Uh, but I'll try and get some more clips of this thing right along with the 806. I know a lot of you guys like the 806 farm all. You like to hear it scream across the field, so to speak. But uh, yeah, just in a few minutes and I'll get this thing fired up and get her going. Yep. That's where it's supposed to be when you're running it across the field once it's on the tractor and doing all your work. I just had a DA attack. Yep, a dumbass attack. Got too excited to to drive and run the tractor and forgot to raise it. Oh well, at least I didn't break it. Onward we go. time nah. financially no but for mental state of mind tractor therapy yes it is worth the time to spend oh about 45 minutes to an hour going over this little two acre patch just to have the joy of running that tractor And yes, I am primarily a fan of the red. In this case, Carmel Red, International Red. But, as many of you know, I'll run the other colors too. I've got another color. But anyway. I'll try to add some more later. Do these little short minute clips or so. It's been a while. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay, YouTubers, it's one of them long time no see, no whatever videos. Uh, I think like I mentioned in a previous clip of this one, when we was doing the mowing with the old Formal 806 and the John Deere 260 disc mower. Uh, yeah, I've not done anything really worth videoing for a while and just... Uh, other life things kind of take priority sometimes, so that's kind of where it's been. Uh, we'll need detail on that, but just all is well. Anyway, as you can see, uh, here we are, August 19th on a Friday, and we're getting ready to, as you can tell, from the sound of that little thing purring, little John Deere 4600. AKA toy tractor with the New Holland 254 tether rake combination. We're getting ready to rake this up. Now, yeah, I know, I know. Doesn't look like much there, not very tall. And like I said before, good thing it's just a dang hobby and not doing it for a living because I'd be eating it instead of trying to sell it or whatever. But anyway, that being said, uh, You ready to go for a ride along? Well, okay. If you are, hang around. If not, well, fine. Whatever. Uh, but let me get that moved around. We'll open that rake up. We're going to put a lot of rows together. Uh, a lot of rows. So I'm going to open that rake up as wide as it'll go and throw hay into, into a windrow and grab those into a windrow. Like you saw me do on the second cut, if you watched that video. Uh, if I can think about it, I'll try to add that as a link up top in that corner. Otherwise, hang in there. And uh, it might be a little bit of a long video because we're going to get the bailing in on it too. Uh, and when we do the bailing, what everybody wants to ride on, the 806. With the uh, New Holland 565 square baler. And I'll get a clip or two of you riding along on that one if you want. Well, or not. Well, whatever. Hey, anyway, hang on, we'll show you some more. Okay, this is going to be a series of quick shorts, but we're going to open this uh, 254 New Holland Tater Rake, open it up to rake as wide as path material as it possibly can. So this is going to be, make the video a little bit longer, but to do that, first thing you got to do is Take these handles, gotta hope it's sink, yeah it is. Take these loose. Take plenty of loose, plenty of slack. And you're gonna take this lever here, you're gonna have it hooked in that hole there. And you're just gonna take and lift. Yes, that's right boys and girls, you gotta do some manual work. Spread that out. And hang on a second. And once you get that opened out as far as that move will go, you go to this spot, do the same thing. Or repeat it and go to this spot, do the same thing. Just like this. Now, once I get this opened up, that should be about 12 foot from the end of that bar at its most straightest point to one of these bars at its straightest point out. That should grab a little over 12 feet, roughly. So it should be close to two swaths with this, with my disc mower run. My disc mower is about seven and a half and we'll take foot across. So it should grab this row, it should grab that row pull them in. Now my goal to do mobile rows with this particular rake is to go down this set of rows, pull them, pull those two in. I'm going to talk about this last time or not, but then come back with these two rows here and pull them in. So that way your stationary bar uh, basket it's only pulling the hay 
a little bit to one side and I should be able to a little bit of work maybe a couple of passes pull those four rent rows in together that'd be about 28 feet worth of material I got to work at it to get that much material to, so that way the baler will make a good bale to sail and otherwise but uh, yeah there's another two minutes killed so hang in there and we'll do the ride along and go from there so hang in there hang in oh yeah and once you get this thing spread out as far as you want it in width don't forget to tighten these two bar these two up because if you don't you just rely strictly on this bar to hold you this thing just might walk out you gotta remember there's a PTO shaft in that tube there's a shaft going from this gearbox on this basket where your PTO comes in to drive it goes across to drive that basket so there's a good chance you go out too wide you may drop off your shaft in there and then you lose your timing you lose your timing between these baskets next thing you know you've got arms hitting and clanging and banging and making a more work than you really want to do um, anyway hang in there we'll get her set up and we'll get her going all right a couple more questions you may ask one why does he leave the loader on the little toy tractor well folks I don't have front end weights for this tractor that makes for the ballast to train on the ground because, believe it or not, that rake it does have some weight to it. My brand has got the front loader on it before. It does get the front a little light and the tires just slip on the ground and makes for a hell of a time turning. Two, you're going to notice my arm, I got long sleeves. Yes, it's a hot August day. But, two reasons for this specifically. One, protection from the sun. It's not a real heavy shirt. It's a light work shirt. Yeah, I'll sweat a little bit, but that's fine. But it protects my arms from the sun. The second factor is, I gotta pick these bales up when I'm done. And I'm not this big, really badass. He wants to go up there in the short sleeves or sleeveless shirts or no shirt, pick up bales and get my forearms all cut up by uh, by bales. So, yeah, whatever, that's what I do. Anyway, hang in there, we'll get going. Okay, let's try and do your ride along clip. Now, I've skipped over about four rows. I'm on my spit and six row. so I can try and do what I want to do. We'll try, and, we'll try and show you down on the other end while I turn around. I'm trying to mess it up too bad. But, anyway, there's your morning view. up in this seat. Final seat I slip down in. But anyway, uh, coming at the end, so hang on to your grab your helmet bag or whatever, but you're going to spin around on the steering wheel probably. So anyway, hang in there. Hang on, hang on. Yep. Oh, I just hit hands. Now, I'll take put the stationary side basket back right here. I'm not very talented some days with standby coordination and still in my life. Let me back her up. Cut 
couple shifts of one of the things. Who's ready to go for a ride on the 806? Uh, I believe I got the 565 New Holland Square Beller set. And this ain't going to be a lot of hay, but hey, it's tractor therapy for me. And you, you want to ride along. Uh, we're going to run her in low range, fourth gear, high side of the torque, which these old tractors have. they got the torque on for high and low. And... I'll pack out some bales. See how we do. So, uh, yeah, finally got the big tractor out for you to bale some hay up. Uh, enjoy it. And I'll try to get some clips of this, uh, this combination pounding out bales like a teenager on prom night. So, hang in there. I'll show you some more.
And there you go, YouTubers. About 49 bale on the counter. Had to rebale two because I had to get my pressure tension shift set so that way it'd make a good bale. Um, but that being said, there are about 47 bale sitting out here. But uh, actually turned out pretty good. I was surprised. That's actually probably 17 more bale. And I got last thing. Last time I had almost 30 bale in that second cut. And like I said before, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this for the therapy. The therapy get to drive that around. That's the whole goofball thing. I know. <laughs> Something very, very wrong with me. But I enjoy driving that. I'm racing across the field with a straight pipe going deaf. But, there again, I've always been around ag equipment. Uh, you know, I've done it on the side for with livestock and stuff for 20 plus years, about 20 years or so. And then, got out of the livestock, I thought I was going to have it all together. But, I just can't part with the eight. I just couldn't see just mowing this ticker patch, wasting gasoline or diesel with a mower of some sort. So, may as well make bales, cuss, and fuss, and, and uh, go from there. <coughs> Excuse me. But, yeah, it is an expensive thing to do. By the time you get money wrapped up in a good sized tractor and a decent baler, you have to work on all the time. Some version of a rake, some version of a mower, and you get all that stuff bought, you buy decent, decent equipment. Yeah, you may not ever get your money back back by doing this as a hobby type thing, but it goes more to the just the, the pure enjoyment of operating the equipment in my my head and all that crap so that being said uh folks it has been a while since i put up a video i i can't apologize i have nothing really i just haven't done anything worth making a video over for the last oh good god several weeks nothing has i've just not done any projects worthy of making a video for you to uh, to watch and hopefully enjoy um, you know I don't do I don't do a lot of things with the farm equipment anymore like I used to um, you know what you're gonna see a lot of times is gonna be the eight paired up with a mower eight paired up with a ba the baler and nine times out of ten the toy tractor and the hake tether rake paired up and going so yeah that's kind of where we're at folks uh, I uh, I'll try to make another video or some more videos at some point but right now it just hasn't worked out for either one of our advantages me making videos and your enjoyment of the videos so at that point, I'm just gonna say, hey, take care. Hope you stuck it out. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I'll uh, catch you on another one after a while or another time. See ya.